Hey, Mark Nelson! How do you handle adversity? And, and where this is coming from, because I've just had the craziest stuff going on, it is, and I, I totally believe that it's how you handle things is how the outcome comes about. Hey, I'm sitting here in front of our lake. Today it's been raining, which was one bit of adversity because I don't like rain, but it's it doesn't matter if it's in, in your life, in your home business, or whatever. But the question is how do you handle adversity? Because things don't always go right. In a case in being, I, if you've been paying attention to me, I, I usually have a boat sitting down there. And you know, we're out, this is a couple weeks ago, and all of a sudden our motor died. And we're done. We don't have a boat any longer. So the biggest thing was we had to go, we actually went out and bought a brand new one. You know, I, I am in the real close to retiring, so we, we needed to get this done when I was still working. So we went out to put this together and we had to finance part of it. So I got my loan together and lo and behold, this was my fault. I put up four different addresses, sending them different things in where I had to go back and change things and whatnot. And, and it's been taking forever to get this loan through. So how do you handle that? And, and this is just a small thing. This is a pontoon boat. And I can go up my kayak. If you saw my kayaks down there, although I gotta really, they're there. I gotta paddle my little butt off if I do that. Or I could get mad. Well, I've been dealing with a, a, just an unbelievable woman. And every day I've been joking with her. I showed her a picture of me in that kayak trying to get this thing going through. And it's not her, it's the bank. That's all it was, it's the bank. But it was really me. So here's what I did. Every time she asked for something, I responded nice to her. I went and got her a piece of information. And dealing with small towns banks, they don't operate sometimes as big as these big banks do. It just takes longer and longer and longer. Well, today they asked for one more piece. And this was, I think this is the sixth different piece of identification from us. Um, and again, it's all up to me. So how do you handle that thing? Well. Tomorrow, we're gonna to go get our driver's license changed. But here's the deal. See, cause they can't start, or they won't start building that pontoon. We're having one custom made just for us. Here's the deal. Hey, if you're coming on live, tell me live and tell me where you're coming from. If you're coming on the replay, hit hashtag replay and tell me where you're coming from. Hey, how do you handle adversity? Have you ever had any adversity in your life, whether it's health challenges, money challenges? I mean, this is really minor. This is a stupid pontoon boat. But here's the deal. See, because I was super nice to this lady, super nice. We were goofing around. I always just said, you know, it, it was always, I, I knew it was my fault. Hey, Coach Wyatt, how are you, dude? It was my challenge. So what I did, today I asked her, well, okay, this is tomorrow we're gonna get the final pieces. This has been, it's two weeks today since we placed it, or when is this gonna happen? And you know what? They can't be doing this. They aren't supposed to be doing this, but they've been making my pontoon all the time. They have the furniture done. They have the pontoons done. They have the flooring set up to put in tomorrow. And it's gonna be sitting there ready for it's finalized. Ah! Fireworks store, you had a fireworks store in your room. Oh, that was me, coach. A <laughs> boom boom is right. So hey, the question is, how do you handle adversity? Because it's really important. If you're starting an online business, you are gonna have adversity. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Things are just not gonna go they want it the way you want them to go. Hey, but I got something really cool for you because I started working with a community of people. A great community of people, and we they showed me what they call a three-step formula on how to work high ticket commissions. Not a $5 commission, not a $10 commission, but a $3,000 commission. If you would like to see that training webinar that I watched, just put a high ticket in the comments below. High ticket. And I'll send you a link. And if you can watch it, you can watch it and see if it's for you. Hi.
how are you doing? Oh, I don't have my reading glasses on, but I know, Shyla, how are you doing? I love your post, by the way. So, hey, if you would like just to see this same training webinar I watch, the community of people, put high ticket down below. I'll shoot you the link. And it doesn't matter if it's for you or not. All I know, it's for me. And I am going places. So, hey, handle adversity by taking the next step, being polite, and just get going one step further. High ticket below. You all take care. Bye.